Hi everyone and welcome to Scrapmark.com videos. Um, I wanted to talk to you just briefly today about the new Sizzix Big Shot Pro. There's been a lot of talk out there about the Pro and the size of the machine um, and a lot of pros and cons. People are asking a lot of questions regarding the machine so I thought I would kind of go over with you my experience since I have purchased the machine. Um, you can see here that obviously it's, it's a very large machine. It's about two feet long. Um, the opening itself for the die to go through is 13 inches, so um, it's, it's not your cuddle bug that you're going to fold up and put away on the table. The size was not a deterrent for me because that is exactly what I was looking for. Um, I was thrilled when Sizzix came out with this machine. I wanted something that I could run a full 12 sheet, 12 by 12 sheet of paper through, get an embossed border, or especially now with the new um, edge dies, you can roll those through and get just a decorative, say on one or all four sides of your 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So the Sizzix Big Shot Pro, this is the machine right here. Um, with it, you will get this, which is the tray that you put your dies through, and it just sits right down here in the track. You will get your adapter pad. And what I love that Sizzix does is you can see here, it puts the instructions on there for what dies you're going to run through the machine. So it helps you with your sandwiches without having to go and find scraps of paper that you wrote it on somewhere. So when you make your stack for your, um, we're going to use a Big Shot Pro die, and I will show you one of those here in a second. But when you make your stack, it, you'll put your tray in, you'll put your adapter pad down, you'll put your cutting pad down. It looks like any other cutting pad. When you run it through, it's going to make the creases or the cuts on the pad. So that goes down. The machine comes with two of these Mylar stems and you just put one of those down and then you'll put your die in face up. This is the die that we're going to use today. It is the A6 scalloped card. Um, it is a movers and shapers die so there's actually a cupcake that sets in right there but I'm going to omit that for this project. Um, so here it is. Here's the die. You'll put that in face up and then your 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. And some of these dies, you'll have to pay attention because some of the dies are angled. The shape is angled on the die itself. So if you're using a pattern paper, you may actually have to trim your edges and stuff to be able to get, like if you're using stripes and you want them to go a specific way, you may have to trim your paper down before you run it through the machine just to make sure that you get your stripes a certain way. And then the machine will also come with this here, which is your crease pad. Any of the dies, um, the pro dies that create a card or a box or a bag, an envelope, anything like that, and um, you're going to run your crease pad on top. You can, it will cut and crease for you. And then you just turn the machine, turn the handle. Excuse me. It is very easy. I mean, I'm, it's taking little to no effort for me at all. There's no pressure required. It's, the handle just turns and it glides through very easily. So when you remove your crease pad on top, if I can reach across the table, you end up with this. And then I'll, you can see here the line in the center. It's got your crease, and all you do is fold it on that line. And there you have it. A card. Um, the dies, the 12 by 12 dies, or the pro dies, as they call them, retail for anywhere from, say, um, I think $59.99 and up. That, you know, a lot of people have said that that's a lot of paper dye, but um, I bought the card and envelope set, so I have the matching set. And think about it when you're doing note cards for teachers or Christmas cards. You know, you make, you make all those passes, all the cards are done, they're ready, you're not sitting there with a the trimmer, cutting, scoring, using border punches to get around the edges. So if you do a lot of card making, um, or projects or scrapbooking to where you would want to have it ready and available. It's it's a good investment. Yes, it's it's a it's an investment, but I I honestly believe that it's a good investment. If you have any more questions regarding the Physics Pro, feel free to email me. My email is Katie at scrap markcom and I will have that at the bottom of the video for you shortly. Also make sure you check out our blog at scrapmark.squarespace.com. And again, I'll have that at the bottom of the video for you, too. Thank you for stopping in, and we'll be back soon.